Okay, I'm back after, once again, weeks of being away. I keep apologizing, but honestly, do you expect any less? No, this time I actually have a legitimate reason. Um, a friend of mine passed away a few weeks ago, and um, so obviously that week I didn't want to stream, and then the following week I was feeling kind of down and out, so I didn't stream then either. And then after that it was just little inconveniences that kept popping up, and I'm like, yeah, that's not gonna work. What is going on here? Who are these people that I added to the household? <laughs> I added these people to keep it interesting. This is the alien dude. And then Christopher Betancourt is also a vampire, I think? Or is he a human? Are you a vampire? Or no, you're not a vampire. We should probably change that. We can make you a vampire by asking Caleb to make you a vampire. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. Don't mind me. Yeah, so it's just been kind of cruddy, you know? It's just, you lose a friend, and like, even though, like, I wasn't as close to him in recent years as I was in the past, we were very, very close from the time that we were children up until a few years ago. So, you know, it's just, it kind of tugs on the heartstrings a bit. But yeah, I made a song for him, made it all better. <laughs> not really all better, but you get the point. So let's get on with this. I'm not sure what did I just do? I don't know what just happened. <laughs> Let me just hope that didn't just screw things up. It didn't. Okay, we're good. I gotta turn off some of my mods. I have Wicked Whims and stuff. We do not want Wicked Whims. Oh, I have to restart the game! <laughs> I hate this so much. I started a, an Instagram account that was like Sims stuff. It's like Sims related. It was- it's like the account is dedicated to Sims 4 stuff. Or just Sims stuff in general, actually. It's like a memes. Um, I made it for like memes, but also cute pictures. So that's been nice. Um, I have I gained 56 followers in six days. Um, and I've also been like writing a lot and uploading it to Wattpad. And my stories have been getting, they've been ending up in like hashtags or tags rather. Uh, they've been getting pretty high on the list of tags. Um, I have one that is like, um, I can't, I can't remember now. Oh, right now one of my stories is at number one in one of the tags. I'm not going to say what because I don't want my fan fictions to be um, associated with Lightning SFM. But yeah, one of them is at number one right now. Um, the other one in the same category is at, what is it? I think 15, but it's new. I only just started that story like a few days ago. so. I don't expect it to be very high on the list just yet. Those things have been keeping me busy. I've become quite like Instagram obsessed because of the Sims account that I made. And I've been chatting with others that do the same kind of thing. I've even kind of made a friend. I don't know if they consider me a friend yet or not, but yeah, we comment on each other's stuff like all the time and follow each other on Wattpad. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> No, 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 no. Let's change that to the dark form. We'll worry about the dark form later. I'm not really too concerned with it. What? Can you please change out of your dark form? Oh my god, we can't do that. Why can't we do that? Oh no, it'd be a broken. What happened? Why is this broken? What is happening? Why can we only do dark meditation? What? Hide dark form. There we go. His name is Joaquin. He's adorable though, honestly. But not as adorable as Christopher. The love day is successful. Ah. Uh, what are you celebrating? Love day is over. <laughs> wait, wait. Why do you have a negative relationship with the cat, Caleb? Why? How dare you? You go make amends with that cat right now. <laughs> He's like, why must you make me do this stuff? Stop watching TV, Jesus. Play The Sims four for five hours. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Why are you on the counter? Oh, that's right. She's a spoiled cat. Okay, you know what? We're going to go into... I, I wasn't going to do this. I was going to wait. Oh my god, you're so cute. Ah, so adorable. That was weird. <laughs> so you are a spoiled kitty. You're not going to be a spoiled kitty. Well, nothing like creeping on this guy while he's getting into bed. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, you just sat down just so you could stand back up again. Whoa! I just saw Callie dart out of here. Goodbye! Where are you going? What are you doing? She's crazy! Follow her on her adventures. 
Oh my god, what are you doing? She's just... Oh no, wait. Is... Caleb, are you watching cooking shows again? This is what he does. He just watches cooking shows all the time. <laughs> like, just non-stop. Okay, good. Let's go to the magic realm. Where are you? There you are. Get off your computer. What are you doing? And then we'll travel to the magic realm. Alone. Nothing <laughs> like going at like 7 o'clock in the morning. Up and at him. <laughs> she fell out of the sky again. Enter the portal, which we already did. Entered the portal and then the game was like, oh hey, you want to enter the portal? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what we wanted to. Open spell book. What do we have? So we know 9 out of 15, 3 out of 8, 3 out of 9, 3 out of 7. We're going to master alchemy before we do anything else, honestly, at this point. And what we can do, I like to ask the sages for stuff. But what you actually could do is just sit here and practice magic. And she would still end up learning stuff from it. What the hell? <laughs> you guys are weird. Meanwhile, Jade looks like she's casting spells on Jem's chest, I think. I thought it was neck. No, it was chest. And Jem is completely unbothered. She's just like, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> In my opinion, if I may, it's actually easier to just talk to the sages than it is to practice magic and just wait for things to come. Wait, no, go here together. I like that idea because then we can just, like, while Jade practices magic, we can just have Gem hit on Morgan. All right, so you can practice magic. I'm going to practice practical magic because it's my favorite. And you come over here and talk to Morgan. What are you doing, Jade? Why aren't you practicing magic here like I asked you to? Okay, fine. You know what? Screw it. Impersonate mermaids. Uh, talk about... What are you doing? No, 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 no. Where are you going? Oh, she has to use the bathroom. This is really uh, kind of slow moving today, isn't it? Uh, Brighton day. Morgan's like, God dang it, I was trying to read. <laughs> hey, dude, that's a cool shirt that you've got there. <laughs> he sat down and then she's just like, nope, over here. I wasn't, I was actually going to try to just have them be, like, not be, but like talk. But I just keep automatically going to romantic interactions. Can we ask him to be boyfriend? I don't know, can we? This is what I do with my life. Oh, hey, wait, something's going on here. Grace and Nasi just got her ass whooped again in a duel. Cool. We're not even halfway up the ladder yet. <laughs> and I don't know how much progress we're going to make today. Talk about warm temperature? What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god, what just happened? <laughs> okay, so I have this mod. No, I don't. I have. It's, an, it's not a mod, it's an animation pack. What is going on? <laughs> oh no. Okay, so, yeah, it's an animation pack thing. Oh, God, his arm is, like, broken. Where, um, the hug animation turns into a series of cute little hug poses like that. The thing is, the Sims can also do it autonomously because they'll hug autonomously and it turns the hug interaction to whatever that was. And I have, like, no control over it. So it just happens and you just have to wait. <sighs> I think I'm gonna have to get rid of that. Only use it when I need it for like pictures and then put it back in. It's kind of annoying, but such is life when you're trying to get cute pictures. I'm drinking orange juice so I can keep myself safe from COVID. <laughs> Joking, of course. I would never get it. I don't go anywhere. <laughs> like ever. Jade, where are you? We need you to, let's see if we can ask questions now. We've waited long enough, right? Finally, ask to teach untamed Mujik. Wait, this guy's wearing a medal? What's this? Well, that's cool. Where did this come from? I've never seen it before. Morgan looks so slick right now. <laughs> He's just like, mm hmm. <laughs> I love it. Alright. Cool, now ask for a potion. Yes, I talk to my Sims. Because, you know, I have no life. Me? <laughs> I literally just did that without even thinking. Oh my god. 
You know you play The Sims too much when. She's learned every... Oh, for her rank. Okay, well now see, here's another issue that we have. Because these two are going to be talking. She's going to ask him for magic. You're not ready to... Oh, that's right, because she already learned a practical magic spell. Okay, we need to find L. L, where are you? Whoa. She's down here, all by her lonesome. Teach mischief magic. And hurry up. Cool. Um, she learned infatuate from L and learned, wait, what? Oh, Chilio. Duh. I, I scrolled past it like three times and didn't even realize. Chilio from Untamed Magic. Okay. So now what we could do is experiment on a cauldron. All this exper uh, exp experimenting. <laughs> wow. All this experimenting is kind of boring, honestly. Just for the heck of it. Oh, that looks so cool. Yeah, seriously, it looks cool. Alright, sorry. Anyway. <laughs> I had to go with- Jeez! <laughs> what is happening over here? Oh, it's Simon. Okay. Now we wait. Oh, the romance festival! Oh, no! Okay, let's completely, like, get rid of this and go to the romance festival. <laughs> Travel with Caleb. Oh, yeah, I also have the base metal drugs mod. Don't worry, these sims aren't going to be doing drugs, but I do have some sims that do. <laughs> so... If you happen to see any of that stuff going on, that's why. I mean, not going on. You're not really going to see anything, I don't think. But I'm saying, like, if you see the, like, menu items. So, yeah, that's why. <laughs> Jade's just like, I'm going to sit here and, like, muse about the rain. And Caleb's like, I'm just going to open my umbrella and call it a day. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Now he's musing about the rain, too. Why are Sims so interested in rain? You need to drink again? Caleb, what the hell, dude? I literally gave you this stuff, and you had, you know, take care of yourself on while she was gone, and you still need to drink. Why? All right. That's that. Let's go over here and see what kind of damage we can cause. Oh boy. I hear loud moaning. I know what that means. It's the passionate romance mod somewhere around here. Oh, right here. Yeah, okay. So that's also a mod that I have. But, uh, yeah. This is the most boring romance festival I think I've ever had my Sims do. This sucks. <laughs> you should get to sit there and stare at each other. Just talk. Why don't you talk? Yes, invite to stay the night when he lives there. That's nice. There you go. To clarity of the moment passion. Aww. That's adorable. He's like, oh, hey, look, you're there. <laughs> I didn't know you were there! <laughs> oh my god. I love it. It's great. She's like, I'm comfortably wet and I have to pee. <laughs> Mention flirty festival vibe. Can we- can you- what are you- okay, wait. Be enticing. As if you don't- you don't really need to be. He was not amused by that. He was just like, what are you doing, you crazy person? This gameplay is so freaking boring. I might as well just have Kayla start fighting people, turn them into vampires. Not going to do that though. That's not what this save is. So gross from using a public bathroom. What do you- what was that? <laughs> that was great. She was like reacting to the rain as she was running. So then when it finally like stopped and it wasn't like when it was about to go to the next like screen, she had her arms down and she just looked like she was running like with this, like a stick. I don't know, it was weird. Christopher, what are you doing? Oh, you're in view of a frog. Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's like, wow, this is a really cool frog. Let me see your eyes. No, I didn't want to move the frog. The frog's like, oh my god! <laughs> just happened. Yeah, you seem thrilled by the frogs. Can you look up? I'm just trying to see his eyes. Oh, jeez. And of course, I finally get the moment. And he looks away. Look. See, so it's like his eyes glow, even though, like... I don't know, they're like a bright, glowing red. I don't like that. But at the same time, I do, because for him, it totally works. I try to do it with Caleb, and it looks weird as heck. Even though in the vampire's trailer, one of them, he had that those red eyes. And he looks really cool, but anytime I have him on, like, with the red eyes, he just looks weird. Dude, why do you look so, like, weird? The lighting. Oh, it's this thing. It's this light right here. What? 
Did you just call that sim a dick? <laughs> What was that? What the, did you? What the? What just happened? <laughs> that was weird. Um, but what did you do and how did you do it? Hold on, wait. Oh wait, empathize. Is that what happened? It made like that weird like thing that he just did. He empathizes. Oh yeah. Uh. Okay. That's an interesting way to empathize, but I will give you some credit for it, I guess. You get an A for effort. Caleb is still just sitting here and watching cooking shows. He nods. He's like, yep, that's my life. <laughs> that's me. You got it. You know, if you keep watching all this stuff to get inspired, then freaking cook something. Make cannabis edibles? Wait, what? I didn't know that was an option with base metal drugs. That's pretty cool. I don't know what I'm gonna have him make. He can make a lot even though he's never actually touched a stove. <laughs> That's impressive, dude. He's like, I know how to make this and this and this and this. Oh, how do I work the stove? I don't know, but I know how to make stuff. <laughs> Once I do learn how to make the stove. Actually, I think this stove runs on wood. So this would actually be right up his alley. Yeah, he's really good at this and he's never even made anything. like. Congratulations, Caleb, you finally made your first dish. Okay. There's nothing to do like the spellcaster related because the spellcaster is sleeping. The three guys here. Three peens. Oh my! Okay, wait. <laughs> Talking about peens, I think we just saw one by accident. Sorry. I'm gonna make sure that I edit that out. <laughs> Thankfully it was just for like an absolute split second. But still, it happened. Uh oh, Jem's gonna try to use the bathroom and she's gonna walk in on Christopher. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> yep, she's gonna walk in on him. Oh no, she's shooing him out. She doesn't even care. She's just like, get out of here. I have to pee. It's like almost six o'clock in the morning and this guy's finally like, oh hey, look, it's time for bed. And who's living like a vampire now though? Isn't it amazing? I really wish that like, I wish I had magic powers. like save the inconvenience of taking a shower and just do like magic spell and poof you no longer stink and you're clean that'd be cool <laughs> i suppose that statement right there makes me sound like a complete and total loser and with that you are not wrong oh yes and our magic mop is over here on the wall <laughs> what was really cool is when i actually had caleb be a spellcaster that is a really cool save file that i have because like caleb is no longer a vampire he is a spellcaster, and he is an amazing spellcaster. I got him up to Virtuoso in like no time flat. I also got him into a relationship with Morgan Ember, because of course I did. These two are getting along really well. I like it. I like it. That's good. It's a good friendship. I like this friendship. Oh my gosh. Oh, of course they're getting along that well. I cheated their friendship up that far. Okay, what is their friendship at? It's at 90. I cheated it up to 80 and it was at like 15 or something. Maybe? We'll just say 20. But I cheated it up to 80. So we'll say that it's at 30 now. Alright, so how about you gossip with him? Male gossip. What does male gossip even sound like? Hey, get over here. I was not done with you yet. Caleb's like, I'm done with him. Could you possibly, like, not do that? <laughs> he nods. Are you gonna talk to him or she's gonna stare at him? He's like, oh, what's that? What you doing? No, where are you going? No, Caleb! <laughs> no. Wait, no, you don't want to do that. Because it's sunny out. You really... Oh, no, it's raining, though, so... Never mind. Caleb's already out here. <laughs> He's like, why are you making me go out in the rain? Jade already did that to me earlier. He's just- I love the way he's bouncing around here. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, okay. What are you doing? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on right now, but poor Christopher is just like stuck outside. Who are you? What did you do? What did you just do with her? Or to her? With her? <laughs> Wait, what? Yes, he can come over and hang out. Yes, that's definitely 100% fine and okay. Did he try to flirt with her? Is that what happened? And she decided she was going to try to flirt with him? It's a Morgan! Hi, Morgan! 
Yes, Morgan is embarrassed. What are you doing? <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> the most awkward hug in existence right here. This is... <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. <laughs> okay, can we not? Can you possibly just do as I'm asking you to do? Stop! What are you doing? Oh, now it's the other way. Now what the- what? <laughs> they just stop and then walk inside like whatever. Oh, now he's tense. Yeah. And now he's embarrassed again. <laughs> We just can't decide what Morgan is today. <laughs> Morgan's bipolar. He's also completely unamused by this conversation. And now he's happy. What? <laughs> what are you doing? Aww, that's cute. What is actually happening right now? What is going on? <laughs> oh, jeez, come on. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I don't know what those animations... Okay, the animations didn't get any worse. That's good, but... Oh, man, the trigger for them is kind of annoying. All right, so now that Morgan is here, let's have Jade ask for magical training. Morgan. <laughs> you can't really teach her all that great if you're here and she's there. Like, you can't even see what she's doing. This, this gives I have eyes in the back of my head a whole new meaning. He's training her from here. Morgan. <laughs> Morgan, you are so badass. Oh, that was cool. That was really cool. <laughs> right there. This is usually, yeah. I've actually had this as like the wallpaper, like my desktop wallpaper. And I just think it's so cool. <laughs> All right, anyway. Time for me to stop being a loser. Why is Katarina at my door? Katarina Lynx is at my door. I'm not answering it. Yeah, okay. We're done now, Morgan. Morgan. You don't need to keep doing it because she's done. She's not doing- She's literally peeing right now. What are you trying to show her? She's gone. There you go. I was gonna say, he's just like, I'm just gonna keep teaching the air magic. So, that is where I'm gonna end this. So yeah, I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.